Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and others of great Muslim, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ by Hashem, is in the name and Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, shall I want to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And shall I want to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shall I want? This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And the uh, title of this video, Lord Willem, is going to be uh, My People. Uh, don't consider, all right? And, well, our people uh, don't consider because, you know, two-thirds of our people, they don't consider, you know, uh, they don't consider Yahweh by Shai, all right? They don't consider, um, they don't consider uh, the Lord, okay? And, and the Lord, uh, he owns us, man, all right? And what's part we're going to do this lesson is uh, it's going to uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, all right, and uh, just give me one second. It's lucky. You know, but Isaiah 1 and 3, let me just read it. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel... Do if not know, my people do if not consider. You see, so the ox, he knows who his owner is. The ass, the donkey, he knows who his owner is. All right, but our people, Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Sentinel Indians, they don't consider that Yahweh Shmuel Shai is their power, man. All right? And, uh... Man, it's another it's a precept that I'm thinking of. Look, um, let me see here. I believe it's in Jeremiah. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 2. <laughs> In verse eleven, it says, "Have the nation changed their gods, which are not, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory from that which doeth not profit." You see, so our people, you know, they go after these other different gods instead of going after the true and only, the only true God. All right, which is Yahweh Shem Al Shai. You know, these nations, they don't. All right, you know, these nations, they don't. They don't change, they don't change their power for the most part, you know? we read that again, it says, Have the nation changed their gods, which are not, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory from that which doeth not profit, you know? And our glory is, is the Lord, all right? This wisdom, knowledge, is understanding, all right? The fact that Yahweh Bashim Shah, he's our power and our power only. All right, he's not the God of these other nations. All right, he's only the God of the Israelites. But our people, they want to change that. They want to go from that glory and, and go serve another God that's not a God. You see? You know, so our, our people, they don't consider even a even a donkey, all right, which is, which is considered a dumb animal. All right, they know who their owner is. Okay? But our people, they don't consider, man. You know, and that's because our people are our uh, Sada's children, all right? Sada's going into stupid. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Sada's children, and they have none understanding. You see, they have no understanding. You know, that's why the Lord is setting up the prophets, all right, to go out to the highways and byways, you know, to... uh to give this understanding unto our people, all right? Break down these scriptures uh, unto our people so they can get it, man. 
You know, it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. So our people are wise to do evil, right? They can come up with fabulous ideas and wickedness, all right? But when it comes to serving the Lord, all right, they don't have any knowledge, man. You know, it says that they have a zeal of the most high, but what? Not according to knowledge, man. Okay. And uh Yeah, let me read verse four. Isaiah one and four. It says, A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward, man. You see, a people laden with iniquity, man. Sin on top of sin, just laden with it. All right? It says the seed of evildoers. Our, our people have taken on the uh, the ways of the heathen. All right? Mainly Esau, Edom. All right? This gun-toting culture. That's Esau, Edom, man. Wanted to gun you down. All right, who's that cunning hunter? Esau Edom. Our people has taken hold of his uh of his lifestyle, of his way to live, and they made it quote unquote cool. All right, quote unquote gangster. You know. It says children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. Our people has forsaken the Lord, man. They's forsaken Yahweh Shimon Shai and served after strange gods, man. All right. And that's why when the Lord comes back, all those that are clothed in that strange apparel, all right, falling after these other gods, other in different ideologies and different doctrines, you're going to be destroyed, man. It says they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. Our people are, are pretty much trying the Lord, man. All right. Because they don't think that he's going to do evil. You see? So they're provoking Yahweh by Shemel Shai to act upon their wickedness, man. And best believe the Lord will, will act upon it, man. All right? It says in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 that uh, because sentences against the evil work is not executed speedily, the hearts of the son of men is set upon them to do evil. So you're uh, continually provoking the Lord. The Lord, uh, the Lord may not act upon it right away, but eventually he will. You see? And that's what's going to happen in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? And, and through these nuclear missiles, man. All right? The Lord is going to act on you provoking him, man. It says they are gone away backward. Our people are, are backsliding, man. All right? You're supposed to be moving forward towards the Lord, man. All right? Moving towards the Lord. It says it was our, as it were our hearts to go astray. Now be in return, seek him ten times more. So we're supposed to be Seeking the Lord, not backing away from the Lord. Our people are are, are, are backing away from Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right, they're not seeking after him. And uh, from there, let me get uh, Malachi. Malachi 1. And starting at 1, it says, The burning of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, saith the Lord. So the Lord said that he loves us. Okay. But what do our people say? It says, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Or right, how are you loving us? Well, you know, we went into captivity. Okay. You know, we, we, we was on that transatlantic slave trade. This is the mind frame of our people. You know, where where was the Lord doing a, uh, doing a transatlantic slave trade, man? That's how our people think. But in actuality, the Lord was there watching, all right? Because he, uh, because the Lord, let me see the perfect word or any good word. Uh, the Lord allowed it to happen. Let's put it just like that. The Lord allowed us to go into slavery. <laughs> Why? You can read about that in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right? You know, we, we, uh, we discontinued. And you can read about that in, in uh, let me just grab a quick precept. 
All right. There's many books that go into it, but let me grab this. is Brute 4 and 6. This precepts pretty much sums it up. It says, you were sold to the nations. All right. So the, Lord, the Lord allowed us to be sold unto the other nations. Why? It says, not for your destruction, so not to completely destroy us. All right. It says, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. How do we move, move the most high to wrath? By not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, bro. Therefore, we went into slavery. All right. We got sold unto the Edomites, man. All right. Sold unto bondmen for, uh, sold for bondmen and bondwomen. All right. But, uh. Going back to Malachi 1 and 2, it says, I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yea, ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, all right? Because the promise was given unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right, not for work's sake, all right? But uh, what it says in... Uh, says it wasn't for the work's sake. This is Romans of 9 and 11. For the children being not yet born yet, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that called him. So the Lord, hey, he just shows us, man. All right? The Lord is dealing with, uh, with Jacob, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That, that sea line, man. All right? Hey, hey, but he hated Esau. It's going to say it here, Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel. He deals with us personally, man. All right? Because we are his people. Okay? You know, the Lord is not dealing with all nations, man. Okay, but our people don't consider that, man. They go and serve after these other false gods, but yet we have a, a, a true power, you know, that loves us, man. But our people are, are, are uh, backsliding from the Lord, man. This is a... Uh, Yeah, I forgot what I was going to grab here. Oh, yeah, let me get Joel. Joel 2, verse 27 says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, man. All right, and starting with the elect, all right, we're not ashamed of our power, man. Why should we be ashamed? All right, we're we're the uh, we're the Lord's chosen people, man. All right, why why should be a, why why should you be ashamed of that? Okay, but all right, our people they're they're ashamed. All right, they see it evil to serve the Lord because, you know. For so long, Christianity has spread so rapidly, all right? It's like a virus in this world, all right, that God loves everybody, you know? So when you come in that spirit as a hey, God is only for the Israelites, all right, they think that you're on some other shit, man, all right? But really, we're on the right path, all right? Because the Lord said that he's in the midst of Israel and he's our power and none else. So the Lord ain't dealing with these other nations. You can read about that in Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. All right, Isaiah, the 40th chapter, all right, it goes into how these other nations, they are nothing until Yahweh by Shemir or Shai. All right, but our, our people, they don't consider that the Lord is only for us. They don't consider that we are locked, uh, that we're locked in prison houses, that we're in the ghettos. All right, they don't think that's, they think that it, that just um, miraculously happened. The Lord set that up because we've disobeyed the Heavenly Father. That's why we are, that's why we're uh, last hire, first, last hire, first fire. All right, that's why our people are locked in the prison houses. 
It says about that in, I, in the book of Isaiah, bro. Let me see. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and verse 22. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith for store. Let me just look up. Let me just look up something here. It says, uh, it says 32% of the U.S. population is is represented by African Americans and Hispanics compared to 56% of the, percent of the U.S. incarcerated population being represented by African Americans and Hispanics. So that's more than half, man. And it's probably more. You got the Israelite foreigners, you know. More than half, man. It says, in 2004, African Americans constituted 2.3 million or 34% of the total 6.8 million correctional population, man. You see? So that prophecy is true, man. All right? More than half, man. Okay? And it's probably more. It's probably... Sorry, uh, <laughs> a quarter. I mean, three quarters of of the of the people in there, man. It's Jake, man. You know, but our people they don't consider the reasons why. They just think uh, all this just just miraculously happened, man. No, the heavenly Father set all this up, all right, because we moved him to Rav. We pissed him off. Okay. So now this is that time to return unto the Heavenly Father, man, because the Judgment Day is approaching, man. Judgment Day in America is approaching. All right, if you're not on the side of the Lord, all right, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right, the Lord is going to kill you. All right, the Lord is going to uh, give you a terrible death. You see? You know, but it says... Uh, Read verse 3 again, it says, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waits for the dragons of the wilderness. But let me go back to Joel 2 and 27. It says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Man, you shouldn't be ashamed of, of, being, uh, of being an Israelite, man. All right? gives a damn what these people think, man. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be proven wrong, man. All right? And we're not. Lord willing, we have that number. All right? This is Isaiah, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon 5. I'm going to close with this. would be the Lord's will. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he. Whom we had in sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. All right. They may call us bugged out all these types of names now. All right. But when judgment day, when martial law hits, when Jacob's trouble comes, uh, comes to pass. All right. Then these people, uh, when Jacob's trouble is in his f uh, full effect, effect, then these people are going to, uh, are going to realize that they fucked up, man. Okay. It says we fools. Accounted his life madness and its end to be without honor, man. But they're gonna, yep, they're gonna be the fools in that day, man. All right, so we'll be, we'll be the fools now. We'll be the bugged out and the uh, and the 
and the uh, crazy ones now. All right, but when shit pop off, the people are gonna see that that we had it right the whole time, man. Lord willing, we had that number. Okay, so you know that's pretty much the point. You know, Lord willing, uh, this video was edifying. We'll close and give all the praise on the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of a millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson I say Shalom, and Ababa Ba, Shalom.